525,600 minutes of ownership to the 25500 Tifa Tango M for November. This was the ETA 2824 movement of the 2014 Tudor Pelagos. Absolute fabulous time with the quintessential primary titanium watch from the one and only 42 millimeters across 15 millimeters thick this was Tudor's entry into the metallurgical world of grade 2 titanium and what a feat that was 2014 must have been the year when Tudor had laid the stake in the sand and said I'm the shield I'm the boss here I am come and get me now apart from the fabulous matte finished ceramic dial Tudor came in and fired the first naval salvos with this fantastic clasp with the expanding extender strap and the T-link adjustment completed internally inside the mechanism. This was showing that the understudy sibling was pulling no punches with its older brother and was making a clear statement to say I'm different, I'm the best, here I am and this is where I'm going to stay. Now cutting to the chase before the bends ensued Tudor went along with the idea of the ETA movement possibly because the in-house wasn't ready at the time but they encouraged a more easier approach into servicing and ownership. This went well and hand in hand with its sisters in the sports range of Tudor with the smiley faced editions of the Black Bray and uh, its contemporary cousins. We're looking at a super light watch at around 145 grams even with the rubber strap options that were enclosed in the cases that were given. This also entered Tudor into the world of the strap couture. The watch encouraged a multitude of design features including the escape valve and the 500 meter water resistance resistivity capability. This watch and timepiece was no promo SM and I repeat that wholeheartedly. It was a design feature in its own right and it must have sent a shudder and a shockwave to all its contemporaries and everybody else around it. Amongst the anoraks and uh, collectors of Tudor and Tudor fans, the ETA 2014 model of this Tudor Pelagos is the one to get and it's now becoming as rare as a friendly great white. For those that have been lucky enough to get hold of one of these that hasn't come across the fight with the Red October along with the stable mates the Tudor Ranger Heritage of the same year and the Tudor Heritage chronograph with the stainless steel bezel these quintessential trios are going to be highly sought after I would consider one very lucky I was extremely lucky in the piece that I managed to get hold of but several of them I'm afraid haven't lived or survived to tell the tale after being heavily used. Well to conclude this on off relationship that I've got with the Pelagos and this is my third outing with the subject matter what made this one different was the face and the balanced look that the piece held. Now this has only been picked up by a couple of influencers out there. Not many people have talked about it and I'm going to leave that to conjecture 
and anybody who wants to have a chat with me on the subject. I'm going to try a fourth attempt in a few weeks with the blue one again. I must admit the square indices are not my cup of tea but nevertheless it is what it is. Thank you very much for coming on to this little ditty of a show and saying goodbye to the ETA 25500TN. May your hopes and wishes go with you. This is a very private gentleman and my time machine. Take care.